Oh, I suck. I already broke this. Oh my god. No. Hi guys, and happy weekly vlog. Today I am headed down to Santa Monica to shoot in a new piece of merch that's launching So I got a little confused I'm not gonna lie and originally we we're gonna launch the white create more hoodie that you guys saw in two vlogs ago and so I actually decided that there's another hoodie that's much more fall vibes that I wanted to launch sooner. So that's going to be launching on whatever day I put on screen because I'm not entirely sure what it is right now. But we're gonna shoot photos for that hoodie and then just a few other fun lifestyle photos. So I'm meeting up with Brian, who I've shot with a bunch of times and we are going to shoot some fun pics. Um, hi, hello, past Lauren jumping into present Lauren's vlog. The new DIY days beige hoodie just launched on shop.lordiy.com. This hoodie is like so fall. I fully rearranged our launch schedule because I was like, no, no, this one needs to go now because it is the fall vibe. So it's currently in the wash or else I would be wearing it. But the new sweater just launched. Make sure to go grab it before we sell out. And uh, back to wherever we were, I think maybe on the couch. So uh, insert a cute photo montage that we will hopefully take right now. <laughs> filming for this Sunday's Halloween video. Here's a little hint of what's happening. I'm so excited for this weekend's video. It's another two costumes that are very based on pop culture and things that were trendy this year. So let me know if you have any guesses in the comments down below. And if you missed last Sunday's Halloween video, it was Pennywise and Elle from Stranger Things. And they were so good. I love Halloween so much. But I just wanted to show you guys the explosion of filming things that's currently happening in my office right now. We filmed some super cool footage with gels, which are like colored, yeah, transparent-y things that go over lights to like give it a really cool colored effect. And it was sick. But currently, here's the explosion of my life. So we've got some just like thigh-high boots, the gels, one of my rolls is down. We had the pink one down earlier and it's just, it's an explosion. I was standing on there to like roll this up. So my play button is down. It's just, it's just a whole mess. But I'm super excited for this weekend's video. I I feel like I haven't been this, this, this excited about videos in so long, so it feels really, really cool and refreshing to be like back being so invigorated with my invigorated, invigorated with my content. I've been like liking all my videos, like don't get me wrong, I'm not in a slump or anything, but I'm just so passionate about Halloweens and costumes. Halloween, singular, Halloween and costumes. Plural costume, singular Halloween, got it. Okay, so gonna go take these earrings off and this costume does not allow me to wear underwear, so I'm gonna put some underwear on and some regular sweatpants and continue on with my day, but we have another big Target trip. I feel like this is just a thing we could do weekly now is go to Target because I need to go get some things from Target. And we'll see if my gems are still on my eyes in a little bit in the next clip. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. So no longer have jewels on my face because it is the next day in all honesty. I super fell asleep and took a fat nap on the couch when I was supposed to go to Target. And then I went to go see Hustlers. A plus, by the way, highly recommend. Was super entertaining. But that was my night last night. So didn't end up getting to go to Target, so we are currently on the way to Target right now, and I've said this before, but I love me a solo Target trip. Like, obviously I love going to Target with like Mia and Lana and Jeremy as well, but like there's just something very peaceful and therapeutic about going to Target by yourself. So that is where we are headed right now because I don't really know if I've ever like fully talked about this, but Jeremy moved in. He's been moved in for a little bit, but like officially as of about a month and a half ago, just right off the bat. <laughs> 
gender norms, essentially. Like, boys have to like blue, girls have to like pink, blah, blah, blah. It's 2019. Like whatever color you want to like, like whatever kind of textures and patterns and designs. Anyways, because I've been living in the house by myself for about a year and decorated it how I wanted, there's a ton of very me things. So, like, holographic and pink and glitter. And because this is Jeremy's home now, too, I want him to feel at home with the decor as well. So, he hasn't asked me to do this, but I've been slowly phasing out some of the pink things that are very Lord DIY-esque. So I've been trying to bring in some more neutral colors that I know he likes. Like he likes wood and marble and gold and dark navies. I've been trying to find a middle ground between our two styles in the house because obviously it's his home too. And so I want him to feel like he's not living in a Lord DIY office that is the whole house, if that makes sense. So on our way to Target right now, and I think the main thing that I want to replace today is the knickknacks within the main shelving unit in the living room. I already got us new comforters in the bedroom that are like a really nice tan and white color. So that is the goal today. I took some really specific measurements of the shelf inserts. They are one and a half iPhones tall. So that's the limit of things that I can buy. So I'm gonna replace some of the super colorful books and I have like three of those light board thingies in the shelves as well. So I think I'm gonna stop at Target first and then possibly Home Goods to get some more fun little knickknacks. It's 9.30 right now, so I'm thinking Target's gonna be super chill, AKA so relaxing. So we gonna do a little Target trip together. Oh my gosh, okay, here's the damage. The goal is to kind of organize these. I also feel like this is just a collection of all the decor that I've had since I moved to LA. So there's a ton of random stuff here that like kind of just ended up being a placeholder. What are you? You're not decor, this is a box. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff here that I've been just like using as placeholders I feel like and I've been putting off finishing this forever. So today we go make it cute But oh my gosh major cute things purchased Oh, I suck. I already broke this no. Okay, I wonder if I can take this little glass part off and just put the candle. Oh, this seems dangerous. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> my hair not in a sprout in a very long time and I'm like definitely four seconds away from a sprout because my hair is driving me absolutely insane anyways I'm done okay so what I felt like was a ton of new decor pieces really only filled like maybe six seven like shelvies. I thought I had way more stuff. I feel like I spent a decent amount of money too and I like started pulling things and I was like, this is not as much as I thought it was. But it looks pretty good and it's like a solid 60% there, maybe even 70. And it's definitely looking a little more Lauren Jeremy neutral, which is the goal. And I think we accomplished it. Okay, so this side definitely still has like most of the old stuff. I rearranged a few things. Like there's like the candle and the new little sand timer thingy. Also, why do I have an absurd amount of clock. I'm pretty sure none of them are even actually set for the right time. Like, yeah, it's definitely not 11, 45, 43, whatever that says. But here's what this side looks like. It looks a little more cleaned up and definitely still on like the Lauren side. But then you go over here and these bottom four look so good. I'm super stoked and I feel like they look very fall as well. So we've got these ones. I love this one. This is probably my favorite one. Also a nice little temperature. Another clock that's not set to the proper time. And then this stuff is great. Obviously never gonna burn that candle, but looks great as a placeholder. And this is like my vintage camera shelf, which is cool. This one's an old Polaroid that actually still works. And then this one is a vintage camera from my papa, I think, which is just like a super cool like family heirloom. And then I put a little photo of Jeremy and I up here and it's a glitter one. So it's like, okay, Jeremy Lauren vibes. And then you're like, Whoop bam Lauren glitter vibes. And it's just like a lot. Ooh, that's so fun and soothing. Whee! 
Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, it looks pretty good. And so let me back up fully. I organized the book so it's like a full shelf of books, some more plants. This side looks so bomb. So happy with how this side turned out. This side needs a little more TLC, but we'll get there eventually. Also, I found Moose's Halloween blanket, so prepare for Halloween photos. So I think that is it for this vlog. Jeremy's mom is gonna be in town visiting starting today for the rest of the week. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun things, but I'll probably be super vlog light. I'm so excited for this weekend's Halloween video. I got a little sneak peek yesterday. If you haven't seen the first one, I'll link that down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget, merch is launching today. So if you haven't seen last Sunday's Sun DIY, that will be linked in the down bar below. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another weekly vlog. Okay, bye guys. Love you. My pretty little kingdom out here running the streets. She's a DIY queen. Yeah, you know.